Today's podcast is brought to you by the letters L T T. This is Debbie Jones with Learning Through Technology. To build an assignment, go to the third icon on your navigation bar, Assignment, and click on it. And then under that you will see you have the Assignment Builder, there's Class Progress, Assignment Status, Assignment Archive with Submitted Projects. So let's click on the Assignment Builder and once it refreshes you will have a choice of choosing from the Odyssey Curriculum, Explore, Explore Florida, Math Intervention, or Common Core. I'm going to choose Common Core, let it refresh, and then I can choose between language arts or math. I'm going to select language arts and I'm going to choose my grade level. From there I will see the listing of all the folders that are in here and it'll tell me a little bit about what's in that folder. To actually see it I need to click on the folder itself and each one of these is linked to an activity or an assignment that you could give to students. So if you want to see what the activity is, click directly on the link and it will show you that activity. If it seems appropriate for your students and you want to assign it to them, you'll put a check mark by any of the ones that you want to assign. And once you've selected those, then you're going to go down to the bottom and click on Add Selected Tasks. The next step is to give the assignment a name. It will say Untitled until you name it. So I'm just going to name this one my L.A. First Quarter Assignment. That's what it's going to be named. And I'm going to choose Sequential. I don't want students to be able to select which one they want to do first. I want to choose that. So I will choose sequential. It refreshes. And at this point, I could make a new folder. I could add more assignments down here by clicking on Add Curriculum. Or if I have decided this is all I want in this particular assignment, then I will click on Complete Assignment. Now again, it's asking for the name. It chose the same name I put in the last time, so I'm going to leave that. I need to decide, do I want this just available for me and my assignments, or do I want to make it available for, for other teachers in my school? And I'm just going to choose mine. If I wanted to share, I'd put it my school. Um, the subject area, I need to make sure it's got one chosen, and the grade level. And I'm going to leave that all the same. Again, I'm looking over some of the same things that I've already chosen. The assignment order, I'm going to leave it sequential. Uh, apply assignment order to all folders. Well, I don't have more than one folder there, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, suppressing duplicate activities. It's a yes or no answer there. If I want them to have a duplicate activity, if there happened to be one, I might say don't suppress it. If they didn't pass it the first time, they probably do need to do it again. So you have your choice on these settings right here. And then if you would like to assign it now, you may do that, or you can assign it later. And in, if you decide to assign it later, this name of this assignment will stay in your archive and you can retrieve it later. I'm going to say yes, I'll assign it now, so I click on next. This is my class. I don't see the students' names until I click the plus sign next to the class name. If I had wanted all students in my class to receive this, I would just put a check mark next to the name of the class and all students would receive it. If I don't want them all to receive it, if it's not appropriate for all students, I will just select the ones that I want to get it, putting a check mark next to the name and then clicking on Finish. And it'll just be those students that I've selected that will receive that assignment. And this will give me that confirmation. There's the name of the assignment. These are the two students that I have assigned it to. I don't have to worry about sending any kind of a message. And then I can click on Close. And that's how you can assign 
assignments to students, either a whole class or individual students. If you have an idea for a future podcast, please send it to yourcharlotteschools.com slash askchrispress, or you can send them via email to askchrispress at gmail.com. Thank you.